بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم my dear vascular colleagues uh, another quick tip um, for vascular surgery um, if you have a case of a var that is being booked I always recommend that you should do the measurements yourself and don't rely on the company doing the measurement for you uh, you can do the measurement yourself and also you can consult with the company. I think one of the best uh, software that you can use is Endosize. Endosize is a great software that is uh, available over the internet with a very good prices. And this is from a French company called Thierry Neva and if you contact them by email they will give you um, two weeks to one month uh, free period to use the program and to see how it works and I in my opinion it is the best one regarding uh, measurements so let us say for example that this a patient that you have booked to do a var by tomorrow and you can see that uh, here you can import the data from cd from folder from archive from pack system and you can have either a var or tvar or fenestrated var or peripheral intervention so let us say that we selected this patient and you can check this is the uh, this is a patient with six centimeter aortic aneurysm that you are going to uh, repair so this is the uh, the aneurysm and you are sure that this is the uh, case that you want to use so if this is a patient and uh, you want to open it so you double click and then you decide this is a patient of EVAR or TVAR or fenestrated or peripheral intervention. And sometimes also if you are uh, helping cardiologist, TAVI is also available for the device. So here you press on EVAR. It will import all the slices of the DICOM loop into the software after you install it to your PC and here you have a beautiful view you having so here is a quick um, guide to using endosize uh, which is a great video you import the ct scan uh, from either folder or pack system it can be used on windows and also can be used on mac and you uh, select the patient that you want to import and then you import it to your system and after it's imported you need to put three points what's called p1 p7 and p8 you confirm that this is the look that you want to import and according to the size some patients have very large DICOM loop, goes up to uh, one giga and even more. Uh, you need to have one millimeter slices, cutting edge uh, between uh, the frames, and then it will import the system. And uh, you select this is the EVAR, and after that, it will import into uh, the endosize Sereneva, and it will ask you to put. First, three point P1 area of the aorta above the rena and P7 and P8, which is right common femoral artery and left. It will do automatic central line measurement. And this is very important that it will automatically draw a line in the center of the blood vessel. And this is totally done computerized. So you select the lowest renal, this level which will be the P2 and then you select P7 and B8 at the femoral artery. These are the only three points that you need to put. And then the machine 
you can hear the here's the diagram for the point P1, renal P2, blue renal P7, P8, right and left common femoral artery. And uh, it will automatically do the measurements for you. And after that, you can adjust the measurements. You can adjust right and left common iliac, maximum transverse diameter of the aneurysm, and so on. And all this is done automatically, and you can look at the aneurysm on the uh, right-hand side, the 3D reconstruction, and you can do the MMR um, uh, shape. It will. You can also assist the measurements. So if you don't like the measurements that has been done, or or you have maybe more um, uh, transverse diameter at the neck, you can do the measurement yourself, and then you can put it into the uh, software. Uh, so you do the P2, P3 at the neck, the lowest part of the aortic neck, the ceiling zone. And then after that is the aneurysm, lower part of the aneurysm. Uh, all this is done automatically for you with the machine. And um, again, you will learn a lot about the measurement done by the automatic measurement and the measurement that you do and correct yourself. And uh, after you are happy with your measurement, you do confirmation of your measurement. Be very careful for the uh, diameter inner to inner all the time when you go through and you need to decide your strategy if you are going from the right hand side or the left hand side for this patient to do deployment. The program also have all the, uh, the common international devices, Cook, Medtronic, uh, Cordis, Incraft, um, uh, all the uh, devices that you are using uh, will be down there, Yotech as well. Mogu is also available and it will uh, get you after you confirm your measurements and then it will get you the um, sizing sheet. Automatically all the data that has been uh, put here will be uh, confirmed into the sizing sheet. Not only this, it will give you a sizing report. So you get a report. Not only this, but if you decide that you are going to use, for example, Medtronic or Cook, it will tell you what is the art number of this device and get you the contact number of the country in your region. Here is confirming the measurements uh, that has been done by Indosize. And once you confirm it and you're happy, you go to the step after that, which is do the sizing report, a very, very professional sizing report. And Sereniva uh, Endosize is a great company. It gives you two weeks up to one month free trial of the software to your cases. And after that, you need to purchase software. They can offer you um, purchasing over an installment. You need also to confirm the size of the aneurysm with the thrombus. Uh, you can tell the machine that this is amount of thrombus and this is the amount of the lumen. And then you confirm your measurements to go to the next step, which is the sizing. And then you go to device selection. So the selection is updated every month with a new company. All the measurements are being done. And once you select which device you want to use and from which side you want to go in, it will give you the exact art number of the uh, device that you are going to use, which is extremely helpful. You don't need to convert the code with the company catalog to get the art number. This is done automatically for you with Endosize, which is extremely great help 
and great benefit. So you go to the company and you tell that I will need uh, the following, the following art number uh, regarding your device, uh, Medtronic or, or Durant or Cook or whatever. It is pretty accurate. It's very, very helpful. It is free. It will give you brilliant report, very professional report. And the report will come like this with the measurement and with the company and even the art number that you are going to use, uh, which is a great help.